again. Welcome back. This time, our quote is, people like to follow people who make mistakes. <laughs> and I know that sounds ridiculous. And all of, us, all of us are thinking, no, I don't want to follow everybody who makes mistakes. That seems ridiculous. Here's the reality. We like to follow people that we know can make a mistake and recover from that mistake. The question is, can you make a mistake, recover, and what does recovery in that situation look like? What does that mean? To say, can you recover from the mistake? What does that look like for you? So really, the goal is being able to admit a mistake. There's something to be said about people being able to follow people who screw up. And so this is a huge facet of leadership. You already know, because you've been taught at IMLT, that every problem is a leadership problem. So the question really is, can you, when you make a mistake, admit to that, fess up to that, and make it right? If you can, your team is going to, again, learn that they can be confident, that they can trust you that even if you mess up, you are going to bring it to full light and say, here's what I did, here's what was wrong with that, I am sorry about that, and I'm willing to change that, I'm changing that as we speak. So, can you make those mistakes? Um, when we see somebody who's a leader who makes a mistake, and they can admit that, and then they move forward, there's great respect. I'm sure all of you have had that in your life. We recently actually had somebody that we respect make a mistake and just proceed to announce it before a whole group of people. Hey, I screwed up and here's how I screwed up. And it almost, I almost felt like, oh geez, it wasn't that big of a deal, right? Because he was willing to say, here's what I did. Here's how I screwed up but it also instilled within me a confidence that if he's messing up, he's gonna say so, he's gonna admit that, and he's gonna to proceed to fix that. So within our teams and as leaders, there has to be the ability to fess up when you make a mistake, which requires great security, right? Requires great self-worth. So for all of you, this is part of why we talk about identity so much and so strongly because if your identity is not set admitting mistakes becomes becomes a very difficult thing for you to do my encouragement is have your identity so established and so set that when you make a mistake even if it wasn't your fault even if all of a sudden you made a mistake based on wrong information you can go back and say man I didn't have full information there, which is why I chose that, but that wasn't a good decision on my part. So admitting mistakes is huge in leadership. And the only way you're going to be able to do that, comfortable to do that, is when you feel secure and sure of your identity, which is, again, part of why we push that so hard. How does it feel for you when I suggest that you admit your mistakes to your team? How does that set with you? Like, no way. I can't show that to my team. I can't show my humanity because they'll all of a sudden lose respect for me. Or does that feel very, yeah, that feels really good. Or maybe it feels right, but it doesn't feel good. Tell me in the comments below, how do you feel when you make a mistake? How do you feel about admitting that mistake? How difficult is, is that for you? And... I would ask you to share in detail of here's what happened, here's what I did, here's what I wish I had done. And then how did the team respond? How did that inspire them to respond? Okay, look forward to these responses. See ya.